I don't know about you, but I like the idea combining music and video editing. On this video, we're going to see how we can create split screens, grids, video conference effects, QR effects, like a trend that we saw very much during Caladin using Final Cut Pro 10. And especially, we're going to use the greedy effect from FX Factory. Let's go now into Final Cut Pro 10 and see this plugin in action. We are in the Final Cut Pro 10 interface and let's see how we can use the greedy plugin to create videos like the one you saw in the beginning. The first thing that we want to make sure is that we have the videos aligned and to the matched audio that we want for the video. Now, if you have a multi-angle or you have the same audio, you can use the technique to match the audio and create compound videos. Then you will click inside the compound clip of the multicam or the compound video with the matched audio and you will do the same process that I will show you on this video. So we have this video, we're going to do a sample with two videos side to side. We will go into the effects panel. We go into greedy, we grab this and we're placing, let's say, to the clip on top. First look, we have four boxes. It's a little bit confusing right now to see what's going on. So I'm going to go to the one at the bottom, press V and disable it. Now I'm going to select this and we will go to the inspector panel to the right. We see now that we have some options, the location markers show us, if I disable it here, show us which location it's which color, but this is something that you won't need necessarily. So we will go into the columns, we want two columns and we want one row for our video. Same thing, you can see that we can add as many columns as we want, as many rows. For now, we will go with two and one underneath now. We can change the cell size, so I will make it a little bit, you know, just a little bit from the top and the bottom. And also, I will raise the width. Just so it is the same on the right and the left. Let's say if I did 50% no, 48.5. Yep. Now we see that we have the same. Okay. Let me disable the location markers. As we scroll down, we see that we can change the width of the stroke. If we want a stroke, we can either set it the cell outline to 0% here. So we don't have any outline. So let's set it without that line. Not with the same example as the beginning. On the beginning, we had a very small stroke, a very small outline. From here, you can change the color if we had, for example, here, you see, we can change the color of the stroke. For now, let's set it, as we said, to 0%. As we're moving down, we can see that we can create an animate. And if I play it, you'll see, for example, that it's animating. Let's play and see. Perfect. And also we can set an animate in and animate out. So an intro and auto into our videos. We can have titles as well. For example, if we want to make it uh, with the names or we want to simulate a Zoom call, for example. For now, we don't have any titles that we need. Now, if we click here on the save effects preset, we can save it for example we can say greedy to columns in the category let's go greedy okay so we can have it as a saved effect preset to use it for our future videos if we want to need again a two uh, column effect that it's going to be easy, adjustable, you know, with all the effects that we have placed. Now, very important. I will delete now what we did, and I'm going to tell you now why. Before we add any effect, it's very important first to right click here and create a new compound clip. Why this is important, you will see right now. I made the compound clip, okay? I'm going into the effects presets. I will grab the one that I've made. 
perfect. We have this here. And why this is important? Stick with me and you will see later on why we created the compound clip. So let's continue with the process. Now, once we're satisfied with how it's looking, I'm going to disable the layout mode. I'm going to enable the video at the bottom. I'm going to right click, create a new compound clip again. I will go into the effects, drag the preset that I created before. And now, if I want the shaker to be on the right, I will go on the inspector panel and change the location, as you can see here. If we have three videos, four videos, five, six, we can choose the location from here of which video is going to show where. Now, why did I create the compound clip? Check this out. If I want, for example, now on the shaker to be more zoomed in, I couldn't be doing it in the inspector panel under the, the greedy effect. So I'm going to double click on the compound clip. I'm going to make scale all. Okay. And now when I go back, you see that I'm zoomed in. Same, for example, at the bottom. If I want to be zoomed in, let's zoom it a little bit, bring it down. Okay. I'm going back and I can adjust where I want the video inside to be very important and also very useful if you want to adjust the size which is bit inside the boxes using the same technique you can create more rows more columns and also you can change plenty of options as you can see here you can link the width you can change the angle you can create animations as we saw with intro and outros, a very cool, very easy plugin to use that saves ton of time when we want to create multi boxes, animations, especially with uh, core, choir, choir videos, or music videos, or um, collaborations with music videos, a trend that became very popular during the quarantine.